scared, I'll give you an enema real quick and you'll be good as new. Uh, get that thing away from me! My head's itching for real! Uh, why did you even come here? You'll infect me too! Uh, seriously, and who's gonna fix me up now? Uh. Relax! Dr. Yumi's got your back! I'm getting treated by a broke doctor! Stop yelling! I got you covered! Oh, is there another way to fix this? Nope, I know what I'm doing! Don't get in my way! I can handle it! Hey! You know squat about medicine! There you go! Problem solved! We saved you! Ah! What have you done? I look like a monster now! What do you think you're doing? This is a hospital, not a hairdresser! Why'd you shave that poor girl? But uh, she… Uh, whatever, who cares? As long as she didn't infect me. <laughs> There are other ways to treat people! You went way too extreme! Extreme… Extreme… What's up with her? Zip it! Listen up. If this ever happens again, I will give you a horrible review and kick you out! Got it? We'll do better, I promise! Can't mess this up. Gotta be a doc and help my fam! Don't forget that you are all interns and I am… Keep me a close eye on you! Let's make a deal. I don't want my folks to know about any drama. There are no bribes in this hospital! Get to work and hustle! <laughs> <laughs> what brings you in today? Uh, hey! He's my patient! Ah! Ah! Uh, feels like my heart's racing even faster. Serious uh. illnesses need a top-notch doc. This hottie should be my patient. But I just got a regular cold. <laughs> Ew! Go spread your germs to Yumi! I don't need your bacteria! Oh. Chill, I'll fix you up. What's up with her? Snap out of it! <laughs> Same old, she's off her rocker. Can someone help me? Fine, come back to me. I already have a game plan for your treatment. Uh, there you go, good as new. I can't breathe! Hey, you can't do that! His sinuses might get clogged! What's that? Are you making up words again? <sighs> A couple of things and you'll be on your way! Uh. Uh. There you go! Uh huh. All set! Get better! Uh. What kind of pop or upgrade is this? <laughs> It'll help him blow his nose properly and breathe freely. Thank you. You're the best doc. <laughs> I love my job in helping people. So I've kind of fallen for Yumi and want to get to know her better. Not digging the treatment, though. <laughs> what exactly didn't you like? Nobody sorted out my sniffle problem! I want to extend the examination! Oh, we'll figure it out! During the next checkup, I'm sure everything will be awesome! We'll slap a diagnosis on you and fix it all up! I'm hoping for that too! Hopefully I can hang around here a bit longer! I love ballet! What's up with her? Hiring these two docs is my mistake! Well, they were cool with me! Fantastic! Everything's fantastic! I'm the chief doctor, and I'm the one who's responsible for everything in this hospital! Shh. 
she's a bit off. The real deal in this gig is those loaded patients who drop some serious cash. You're always all about cash. What are you doing here? And who's gonna check on your patients? But we treated them all. No new ones have rolled in yet. You're slacking, girls. Patient Travis is sick and he ain't happy with the service. What? No way, that's not what he said. <laughs> he played you. <laughs> Enough chit chat. I figured out how to get you motivated to do some good work. Cash? No. The intern who treats more patients and gets stellar reviews will get a recommendation from me for college. Well, that's something. As long as they don't kick us out of there. Or it'll be a real headache. I dig it. Cool idea. It'll up our chances of landing a solid job offer. Oh, back to work again. Woohoo! Finally, they're gonna fix me up! I'll be tip top! Oh, this is a disaster! Hey there! Get off my examination table like pronto! I don't treat poor folk. But you're a doc. You took the Hippocratic Oath, right? I sure did. And I'm going to treat you. <laughs> oh. I'd rather peace out. Two bums in one room is just too much for me. I'm leaving. Oh. What's bothering you? My teeth are killing me! Ah! Uh... Oh, nightmare. I've never seen so many cavities. Help me out! I'm begging you! Ah! I don't want to lose my teeth! Uh, I need to jet home ASAP. My frog has a fever! I'll do it upright. <sighs> Open wide. Ah! Uh, so what's the verdict? Taking forever! Done! I threw in a Play-Doh filling for 31 teeth to cover cavities. But I ran out of Play-Doh, so had to yank one out. <laughs> Perfect smile! To keep it that way, you gotta brush those choppers 10 times a day. <laughs> oh, the poor folks vibe is messing with my skin! Why aren't you working? Oh, ouch. Well, I'm about to be. Got a killer shot to make a bang-up impression on the boss. Oh! Yeah! Open up. Oh. Ooh, what stellar teeth you got. Dr. Emily's gonna sort you out. What's with all this weird stuff in your mouth? It's none of your business. <gasps> After this, I'm scoring a top-notch recommendation. And because of this, my daddy's gonna hand over all his money to me! <laughs> Open wide, <gasps> say ah! Uh... Ah! Uh... Oh, I can tell you, you need some pills. I've had one. They don't work for me. But being close to you makes me feel way better. Uh, uh, oh. Whatever. You just have a fever. That's why you're talking nonsense. Here's the medicine that'll definitely sort you out. Uh, anything smaller in size? Hang on a sec. <gasps> now with this tube, I'll suck out all your snot. Ah, keep that away from me! I'm already feeling better! What kind of medieval methods are these? I'll treat him better! Uh. Mm. You have no clue how to treat people! I'll do a better job! I'll be the one treating him! No way! Hands off! Ah, someone help! Uh, uh, I don't want to be sick anymore! Sweet! My meds did the trick just as I expected. Are you out of your mind? My tube method helped him. No way, I helped him. No, I did. <sighs> ah! oh, I'm so 
talented. Theater's waiting for me. Hey, I need to schedule an appointment. Appointment? You were trying to enroll in my ballet school or something? Um, but first, you gotta pass an audition. I don't just train anyone. Point those toes <gasps> like me! Ah! I'm pregnant! I'm not in the mood for dancing! Did I walk into the right room? This chick looks total cray cray! What are you doing in my office? Weren't you taught to knock? Um, I... Bursting into my office is not allowed! <gasps> She's definitely not sane! <gasps> Travis is gonna give me a stellar review, not you! Chill out! I don't care! It's just a friendly competition kicking in! <gasps> I need an ultrasound like right now! You may deal with this one. It's your patient. Hey, you're not escaping! Or I'll spill the beans and your daddy's money flow stops! Spare me. Don't do this. Do you have like a fast heartbeat or something? My scare tactic worked like a charm. No, seriously! Some crazy lady just attacked me in your hospital! Gotta report this to Alice so she can handle it. Fine, while you do that, I'll do the ultrasound. Don't want to mess my hands with this poorness, but I can't say no to daddy's cash. <laughs> oh, this is so nerve-wracking. <laughs> I'll show you the little nugget. <gasps> Yay! I'm having a gold bar! I'm gonna give birth to it and become so wealthy! That's impossible. Uh, sorry. My bad. I have made the wrong input. Darn, too bad. You had given me false hopes. I want Yumi to examine me. Sure thing. Come lie down. <laughs> Ugh. So what is it? The result will be done in 10 seconds. Ugh. They're ready. Woo! I'm gonna have a girl! Well, the gold bar would have been a better choice. But who cares? <laughs> woohoo! Woohoo! I have a unicorn! <gasps> but no prince! I want love! <laughs> Darn, what's going on with him? He's gone bonkers. <laughs> <gasps> Yay, my princess buddies came to visit! What a hot mess. Yeah, better go in there before he starts a riot. Darn, I'll book an appointment at another hospital. <clears throat> Welcome to Rapunzel's Tower. Um, um hi. hi. I need your help. I'm stuck in this cursed tower. <laughs> Please, save me. See what you've done to this man? This is a nightmare. We need to help him somehow. Can't be fixed. I've been there. <laughs> I'm done living here. I want to stroll through fairy tale palaces. Not rot in this place. <laughs> Travis, we'll help you. Who's Travis? I'm Rapunzel. Okay, Rapunzel, I'll do everything to free you. <laughs> Thanks. Hooray, the girls will soon rescue me and pull me out of captivity. <laughs> what a cringe fest. <laughs> Seriously, what kind of dog am I after that mess? <laughs> Hey, who hasn't had their moments? Travis went bonkers after my treatment! <laughs> well, I worked on him too. It's probably because our treatments clashed. Maybe. We gotta team up, not each pulling the covers our way. Otherwise, every patient's gonna turn out like this. I'm not even sure if I want to be a doc anymore. It's too much pressure. People's lives depend on this. And I keep messing them up. <laughs> this is our shot to fix our rep. Let's go. I'll catch up in a bit. Uh, 
I gotta help and heal Travis. But if I can't, then, then I'm out of medicine to avoid hurting anyone else. <laughs> Slipped and fell, and look at this. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Keep going. What's bothering you? Aren't there any other docs in the clinic? I'm bold after what you've done. Actually, I'm the top doc here. Fine, my hand hurts. Ah, got it. You need a surgery. You sure? After your treatment, I had to slap on a wig. Yep, lay down. Oh, I'm so sick of these patients. Now, slowly count from ten to one. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Weird! Why doesn't anyone ever reach the one? Whatever, who cares? It's time for surgery. <laughs> I have to send this to Yumi. We gotta cheer her up. She's been too down today. Done! That'll be ten grand. <gasps> what the heck did you do? My hand was hurting! Oops. Well, it was shifting pain to your leg. But my hand still hurts! All right. To ease your stress, I'll check again. But it'll cost more this time. Yo! We need Thanos' glove. Are you trying to set up a Comic-Con or what? These are cutting-edge medical technology. Slap it on and your hand's gonna heal. This is some kind of circus, not a hospital. I'm gonna leave you a nasty review. I don't care. As long as they don't kick me out of here. <laughs> Finally, you showed up to save me. <laughs> Gotta fix my mistake. <laughs> I'm so happy I want to dance. <gasps> Hold up, you're making it tough for me to treat you. <sighs> I'm tired. Shortness of breath could be another symptom. Let's kick off a tea party! <laughs> what a lovely oh, day! Man. I'll never cure him like this! My creation will be ready soon. Ah! I'm giving birth! Ah! No! That's intense! Ah! Help me! Ah! Oh, I need oh. Yumi! I can't oh. handle this alone! Oh. Ah! Ah! Darn it, darn it! She's not answering! I'll go find her! No! You're not going anywhere! We're counting on you! Ah! I have to! I can do it! Ah! Push! Ah! 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 Congratulations, it's a girl! <laughs> Yay! Why isn't it crying? She's not… <gasps> What's wrong with her? Oh, phew, she's fine. <laughs> I'm so relieved. Thank you. You saved us. I'm a doctor. It's my job. How's her princess holding up? What? Who are you? Oops. I mean, who are you? I'm a princess. And I need a prince. And you look more like a dragon. Uh, Alice? Bellies, what you need to focus on! Alice, what the heck are you doing? You're the chief doc! Get out of my tower! I won't! You're mine now! Ah, dragon attack! Help somebody help! Ah, 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 ah. I actually like this better! Love playing tag! Ah, ah, let me go! Get this crazy person away from me! So, no more princess act? I never was! I faked it to stick around in the hospital and hit on Yumi! You little rascal! I'm into it! Ah, help me! <laughs> I'm a lousy dog and I gotta fail on medicine! <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing in my office? What's going on? Who are you? I'm the chief doc in this hospital! Is this some kind of prank? Alice brought me in here. Ugh, Alice is a nutcase patient. 
had me hostage, took over the hospital. So my internship here's a sham? Doesn't matter now. We gotta find Alice and fix her up. If you help me, we'll talk about your internship. Fine. And I'll need your help with a certain mm -hmm. patient. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> oh, hooray! My savior has arrived! Alice, they sent you a new gown. It'll look stunning on you. Wanna try it on? Of course! That's better. What did you do? Let me go! <gasps> Hooray! <gasps> they caught the dragon! <gasps> well done, Yumi! Maggie, you idiot! How did you escape? Thanks to you. <gasps> Hooray! Another savior! <laughs> we need to save him. I know how. Ah, I'm scared of shots! We need to catch him! No need. He faked his illness. It's obvious from his reaction. Dang, I didn't get it. So that means I'm not to blame? Yes, you're not to blame. <gasps> What's going on with Alice? Alice is a mentally ill patient. And I'm the real doctor. I gather Alice hired you while I was her hostage. Well, darn. How dare you! I'm the head doctor! Release me! I'll fire all of you! A very challenging case. She refuses to take her meds. I don't know what to do anymore. Maybe your fresh perspective can help? Finally, it's time to show what I've got! Let's brainstorm together. Two brains are better than one. The minds of the loony are like kids. Equally unpredictable. Childish minds. I think I know what to do. <sighs> this should work. I have a gift for you. <gasps> candy! Candy! I love candy! Take it. Take a coin over there. I'm afraid sweets will only make it worse. We mix the candy with drugs. <gasps> Fantastic idea. I see you've got great potential. Absolutely. <gasps> I propose you both undergo a real internship at my hospital. Yay! <laughs> Finally! I'll get to learn everything! You weren't interested in medicine before. <laughs> I changed my mind. Now I like healing and helping people. I want to be the best doctor. You'll definitely become that. The best after me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <sighs> I faked a rush. Now it's time to fake a fever. Uh, wow, are you going to school <laughs> camp? I think I'm coming down with something. <laughs> you are totally joking! Mommy! Are you not ready for school yet? I'm running late for my flight. Don't blame me. Mom hasn't left yet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm sick. Stay away. You have an important trip. <laughs> but I... Uh, let my sister who's studying to be a doctor check me. You just go. <laughs> All right then. Brittany, how about your sister? Yay! My first patient! We need to rush to the hospital to find out what's wrong with you! Maybe it's some kind of inflammation! Yeah. I earned a PhD in the art of feigning. Summer, grab Eric and come over for a party. <laughs> A rash in the shape of flowers? Yes! No, uh, your sister has a mystery illness. She needs to go to the hospital urgently. And you left her alone at home? Uh, wait! Honey, she's scared of hospitals! Brittany, don't you understand? Her life might be in danger! Mmm, honey definitely won't like this! Mm hmm. Heart rate looks good. Now, just say 
Uh, all right. Throat looks clear. Is it over yet? I want to go home. You're staying here until we figure out what's wrong with you. Where's Brittany? I want to talk to her. I'll be conducting further tests. Why would you? You're not even a doctor. You're just a student. Dr. Dina, the head doc, said it's a good case for my practice. Mm, well, fine. Oh, my dear sis, thank you. I was so scared. Will you take me home? Not so fast. First, you need to get your vitamin dose right now. <laughs> oh, I don't want oh, it. Oh, but you do. Oh, I'll confess everything. Honey, you have one minute to confess everything before I call mom. Oh, I fix symptoms of an illness to skip school and invite friends to a party. And that rash? Honey, how'd you get it? I drew it with markers. Do you even realize the chaos you've caused? The whole hospital is in a frenzy trying to just figure out what's wrong with you. I'm sorry. I was so embarrassed. I'll tell everyone the truth. Just let me go home. Zara, my sister wants to tell you something. Actually, my illness... Tell us what you know about the new disease. How do you feel? What's it like to be the only person in the world with this disease? Um, I, I, I'm scared. Don't worry, I've got your back. Well, our patient here actually wanted to tell you something. Are you her doctor? Uh, tell us about yourself. Are you an expert in mysterious diseases and the best doctor in this hospital, right? Uh, actually... No oh, comments. Disease. I came personally to examine patient Honey. Oh, golly. Dr. Drake himself is here. This is not true. Oh, our patient's suddenly taking a turn for the worse. <gasps> she really needs to use the bathroom urgently. <laughs> we'll be right back. Uh, at this time, that's all the information we can provide you with. <laughs> Now, honey, I'll teach you how to raise your fever on an electronic thermometer. Huh? Oh, pickles. Ta-da! Quick and easy. I used to do this all the time to skip school. <laughs> <gasps> there you go. Honey, how are you feeling? She's complaining about having a high fever. Hmm, interesting. This fever is way too high. Huh. Hmm. Huh. What a curious case. High body temperature, but skin temperature is normal. Well, it's a mysterious disease. That's why the symptoms are so weird. She even has a rash that looks like flowers. Miss Zara, examine mm -hmm. Honey's skin. Mm, yes, of course. Don't worry. It won't hurt at all. Watch this! Mr. Drake, don't get too close! This disease can be transmitted through touch! Oh no! Does this mean I'm infected too? Uh, but you don't have a fever! Well, it won't go off so quickly! Oh, fair point. Ms. Zara, you're going into the same hospital room as Honey for treatment. In the same hospital room? Of course, it's the same disease. Just remember, no touching others to prevent the virus from spreading. Bye, Mr. Drake! Because of this fake illness, I'll have to eat this yucky food now. Hey there. You're Honey, the girl with the mysterious illness, right? I am Justin. He's such a crush. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Funny. Everyone knows not to touch you because of the disease. <clears throat> yeah, right. Uh, I know where the nurses hide the good snacks. Wanna share? <clears throat> Is there normal food here? <clears throat> Help yourself. Mm, looks delicious. Are you a patient too? Yeah, this hospital has practically become my home. <sighs> they can't cure me for a long time. I'm so sorry. That's really sad. Oops, I got dirty. Uh, let me help Don't you. Don't touch me. You could infect me. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to. I better go. Don't blame me. I actually started liking a guy for the first time and I can't even touch him. I need to tell the truth to be with Justin. Ahem, ahem. Intern Brittany, how can you explain the fact that the rash on your arm can be wiped away with a tissue? Um, that? It's fake. Why did you all lie? This is incredibly irresponsible. Please, don't tell Mr. Drake anything! <gasps> so you want me to cover it up too? But it can be advantageous for you too! You'll be just as famous as my sister! And fame often brings a lot of money! You make a point. Deal. But Dr. Zara, you'll need to boost your fever just to match honey's symptoms! Ooh, I've got an idea. I'll just fake a fever right now. Dr. Drake, I've got something super important to say. Honey, why aren't you in the hospital room? Honey came to tell us something important. Uh, yeah, so here it is. I lied. I'm not really sick. It was all fake. What? Oh, blimey! This is bad! Oh, what a fake! I'm all so seriously ill! My fever even went up! Was this not possible? No one will believe you! The virus is progressing! Your symptoms match! It can't be a mistake! Oh, exactly! It's a real disease! <sighs> the symptoms are the same. Well, well, can you repeat this? I feel so terrible! I'm gonna be sick! Uh, what did this little brat come up with now? Dr. Drew's definitely not gonna buy this. I feel so terrible! You puked up slime? Miss Zara, did you have similar vomiting? Oh, yes, absolutely. I just didn't get the chance to tell you. I saw it myself. She's really sick. Honey, like that symptom. Quack! Quack, quack! Quack, quack! Quack! This disease is progressing too quickly, and quack. we need to take drastic measures! Quack. Mr. Drake, what are you talking about? Quack, quack? In turn, Brittany, come with me. We need to discuss this. Thought you were smarter than everyone? Why'd you fake being sick in the first place? Cause I wanted to. Quack! Uh, hey there! <laughs> What's up? We can communicate from <laughs> the distance of this stick, and you won't get infected for sure. <laughs> You're pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> it must be so cool when your sister's a doctor. Sometimes she's just too overly concerned about me. <clears throat> It's a shame no one cares about me anymore. What do you mean? They've given up on curing me in this hospital a long time ago. They've written me off as a lost cause. <laughs> What's <laughs> happening to you? Someone, please help! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Hang in there! You'll get better soon! Some peppermint tea will help you! <sighs> Thank you. You need some rest! Mr. Drake! Take the patient to the hospital room! Let's go! I told you not to talk to him! Why isn't anyone treating him? Doesn't anyone care? We don't know how to help him! What about Mr. Drake? He's such a great doctor. Maybe he can cure him. Mr. Drake doesn't deal with diseases like the one he has! Oh, let me talk to him. I can convince him. That's not possible! I promise I'll uh. keep pretending to be sick as long as you say. But allow me to talk to Dr. Drake. Fine, but you won't see him again, honey! Of course, I promise. I'll only do what I want. I'm definitely on my way to a Nobel Prize with this research. <sighs> hmm. Something's missing, though. Dr. Drake, I wanted to ask you to examine Justin. The boy with the cough? That's not really my area of expertise. Too simple. You're the only one who can help him. 
It seems I do know what's missing from my research. What's that? I'll take care of Justin's treatment if you agree to provide me with a bit of your boogers for research. Does it hurt? Um, not at all. It might be a tad uncomfortable, that's all. For Justin, I'll do it. Great. Thanks for your cooperation. That's so gross. I'm so done with drawing these silly flowers. Honey, have you seen how popular you've become? You're on the cover of all the magazines. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> cool. We want to pretend to be sick like you to become just as popular. <laughs> Being in the hospital isn't as fun as it looks. You really don't need this. You just don't want to share your fame with anyone. And it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> what? New patients? Uh, yes. yes. We need to conduct another test. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we're, we're ready. ready. Honey, you go first. Great. Eric? This is getting interesting. Summer? <laughs> even more interesting. So can we stay at the hospital? That's not even up for discussion. You need to be isolated from others. Yes! The symptoms of this illness are becoming more severe. It's time to take action. What's happening here? <laughs> well, we don't really know how to fake being sick properly. Just winging. <laughs> are you ready to comment on the mysterious honey disease? Uh, yes. Currently, we have four patients exhibiting symptoms of a mysterious virus. Do you already have a treatment plan for this disease? Unfortunately, that's still unknown. So what are your plans? I'm declaring a citywide epidemic. The city will be placed under quarantine, and everyone is required to stay in their uh, homes. Are you sure that's necessary? It's the only right decision. Uh, can you tell us more details? No comments! <gasps> Justin, what are you doing here? It's for you. Please enjoy. <gasps> Thanks. That's so sweet. I was getting tired of eating plain porridge all the time. Honey, we finally found you. <laughs> Do they have the same virus as you? Yes, we're best friends. And we're even getting sick together. No, yeah, we're always together. Honey, we brought Twister. You want to play? Are you in? Uh, I can't touch you guys. I'll get even sicker. As you say. <laughs> Left foot on red. Uh, well done. Your turn, Eric. <clears throat> Eric, right foot on yellow. <clears throat> What's happened to him? Ouch! Oh, that hurts. All right, girl, stay here. I need to talk to Justin urgently. <clears throat> Justin, it wasn't right for you to leave just like that. There's nothing for me there. I still can't play with you guys anyway. <laughs> I think I know what's going on. What does Honey mean to you? She's my best friend. We've been friends for seven years. Why are you asking? No, you didn't understand me right. What do you feel about her? Well, I love her, but we're not together if that's what you mean. <clears throat> Aren't you trying to get closer to her and start dating? <laughs> of course not. But why? She is amazing. Because she's not Summer. So I have a chance? <laughs> a pretty good one. I'm sure she cares about you. <laughs> I need to confess my feelings for Honey. <clears throat> <clears throat> honey, I wanted to tell you something. I think I... <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, no, 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 not this! Andy, Summer, get someone for help! Uh, quickly! <laughs> the doctor will come soon, and everything will be fine. They'll definitely help you. Where's the patient? You need to go to the heat chamber. Come with me. What? Where are you taking him? I'll go with you. No, you can't. You're staying here. And honey, <laughs> I am forbidding you from talking because it's dangerous for you. <laughs> Uh, why is she so mad? She's always been like that. 
Where are you going? Your sister said to stay here. Since when have I ever followed orders? But Brittany said it's dangerous. I don't care. I need to know what's happening with Justin. Nobody in this hospital seems to care about him. Oh, this is not gonna end well. <coughs> so here's where the heat chamber is. For your well-being, you need to stay here for the rest of the day. Yeah, I know, not the first time. <coughs> Justin, I'm here. Honey, <laughs> you came to see me. Yes, it seemed like you wanted to tell me something, but you didn't get the chance. I'll tell you when I get out of here. Honey, can you... Yes, I <coughs> can touch you. The warmth of your hand is so comforting. <coughs> Justin, I promise I'll find a way to cure you. <coughs> Honey, you could use a little healing too. But the main thing is <laughs> that you're here now. I'll be back soon. I won't leave you. I promise. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Do you really <clears throat> fall in love with Justin so deeply? <clears throat> Without honey, it's too cold and lonely. Just as I suspected. Mr. Drake, this whole illness story has gone way too far. And I wanted to confess. The illness is fake, isn't it? Uh, how did you know, Mr. Drake? I suspected from the very beginning that the illness wasn't real. But now I have evidence. So, are you going to tell our mom now? <laughs> no, we won't tell anyone that the illness doesn't exist. But why? Look, you have a choice. We can either keep lying and ride the hype wave to become cool doctors, or you can confess and... I'll confess! But then you'll be expelled from school. Or... Or what? Or you and your sister will go to prison. But... Well, okay. I'll agree to keep lying. That's the right decision. If you don't cure Justin, I'll go to the journalists and tell them my illness is fake. Honey, what are you doing? I examined that boy, and I can say for sure his illness is incurable. Then I'm going to the journalists. <laughs> Not so fast. Honey, where is she? She's in this room. <clears throat> uh, honey, are you here? Are you okay? Justin, you came for me? I'm right here with you. Uh, I managed to steal the keys from Drake. Sorry, I can't. Oh, I forgot. Justin! Uh, I was really worried about you. <laughs> Are you not afraid to touch me anymore? Whatever. I cannot stay away from you anymore. Honey, I love you. I have to confess to you, my illness is actually fake, and I lied to everyone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? I knew you wouldn't forgive me. <laughs> no, honey, you've got it wrong. I just didn't want you to get sick from being around me. <laughs> I know a way to help you. Come with me. This is the girl with the mysterious disease. How are you feeling? Tell us about the illness. It's all fake. There was no illness. I just made it up to skip school. Brilliant. The end. How did such a brilliant idea come into your head? Well, listen up. All the doctors in this hospital are lazy. They refuse to treat Justin. <coughs> uh, does he have some mysterious illness? Well, they say they don't know how to treat him. <coughs> Take a picture, this is a sensation! <laughs> Justin! I don't know what to do! I never told you that I love you too! <gasps> Honey, you... <gasps> a magical kiss held the boy! 
This will be in all the evening news. All right, clear out. There's nothing to film here. Let's run! How do you comment on the fake disease? Well... <gasps> it seems Justin is completely healthy. Hooray! Uh, I don't understand. I've been sick for so many years, and no one knew what was wrong with me. But how is that possible? Love is the greatest medicine of all. Now we can be together. <laughs> uh, I am never letting you go. You have to. Mommy? Poor girl's mysterious disease, fake sickness, a true love's kiss that magically heals the boy. Mommy, we can explain everything! Sorry, but you seem to have forgotten about that quarantine thing. Thank you very much for the reminder. Why do I have to find out about all of this in the gossip magazines? I never meant for all of this to happen. You two are on house arrest. A whole month. Bye, Mom! Mom! Stop!